Hello and welcome to Bay TV's short film show where we showcase and bring you up to speed with local filmmakers and their films. Indeed, we'll be looking at some of the talent in front of and behind the cameras. Writers, directors and of course, actors. <laughs> Okay, and with us today we have uh, the director of John's Big Issue, Mr. Stuart Bedford, and two of the stars, uh, Alan Mulhall and Johnny Hurst. Guys, welcome to the uh, show. Well, Thanks for coming uh, in. First question is, tell us something about the story behind the story. Um, well, I was approached uh, by James, a guy called James Antonio who had a sort of short sort of script that he kind of wanted me to take and. Uh, and make essentially, but so part of my process is kind of getting in there and throwing it about, you know what I mean, sure. ripping it apart. So we did, um, you know, it was kind of the idea was I like to find something in the characters that I write that I can relate to, if you know what I mean. So kind of the script was about this angry guy kind of ruining his, yeah. ruining his sort of marriage and his life with his, uh, with his anger. Um, so I kind of took that and tried to just open that out and kind of put myself in there a little bit, you know what I mean? Just, okay. just so I could kind of understand. Mm. Um, and I was sort of, re I've been recently kind of referred to an ADD special, adult ADD specialist, okay. which I didn't know at the time. Um, but I think a lot of kind of what came out in that script kind of comes from that. It was like there's, 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 there's a ring of authenticity about this film. Yeah. Thanks. And uh, yeah, I, talking to, to, to Alan now, how did you maintain that level of intensity? Because you know, you, re you really bring that off in the film. Yeah, well, that's when, once I got the script off, uh, as you say, James, uh, we, we just would work and with Stu. Just like, you know, with reading the script and thinking about the character and just sort of, with me, like the acting I've done previous with theatre and stuff, and uh, I just really focusing on, on the character. And Do you have a particular method that gets you locked into that emotional zone each time you're filming? Well, yeah, I'd say, I mean, the, the work that I've, I've done a film with Stuart in the past there uh, called Survivor, I mean, that was really about isolation and just on, on, on his own, the character. So, I've, you know, we were having the experience of that and then working on this film, just focused really on, the, as I say, the isolation and the, the mindset of the character and uh, just just really getting in the setting, which is saying the method, I think that's like, that's what, the, what I tend to go into. Like, I mean, Al, Al, when he takes a role, doesn't stop thinking about it ever mm -hmm. you know you get you get phone calls talking about it constantly which i well, that's obviously really kind of like. are, are you guys fans of improvisation or was there a strict rehearsal regime or a bit of both or well, we've done a bit of improvisation at the, at the beginning when we met donna donna coleman uh, we we worked through different scenes and we, so stewie was letting get to know the character and stuff and how it's gonna we just kind of did scenes didn't we that were not in the story Sort of almost like okay, so this situation is now there in the shops, and this happens. Mm. So then it was improv. They did. We just improv and sort of. We got a lot. We did get a lot out of that. Yeah. You know. So How about the sequence where you're goading? Was, was that very much scripted, or did that came out of any uh, anywhere? Uh, no, I think that the improv. I think when we were doing the improvisation, I think we were looking at each other. I mean, what me and Alan did originally. I didn't know Alan before we did the film, so it was kind of like to keep it as real as possible. I, I made a conscious decision not to get to know Alan. Um, thankfully, we're now but we're good friends. Like, but at the time, we just sort of, we were improvised, then we just go away then. Um, it was quite tense. It was tense, it? very tense. And then I think when we get quite to a the, tense atmosphere, to, but in a, yeah, in a good way. Good way. To, to the yeah. final stages, I think the very last rehearsal, like I said, said to Stuart, I said, listen, tell Alan I'm not being funny, but I just come into this last rehearsal and I don't want to, uh, just want to keep it cold as possible, because I'm going to try and do something uh, that might carry something, a bit of weight in this, you know, for the film. So I, I come in that in that session and, and it was quite like it was It was cold, it man. It was cold man. And it then I think really that, that was the catalyst of that. But that's very, that final captured scene. that, didn't it? Captured. It seemed to capture on that camera, which we then, kind yeah. of which I was quite happy with. But that's because we took that's because me and Alan we took that <clears throat> the fact that, you know, we, we kept it as real, as gritty as possible to try and 
did the viewer to see, you know, that this is this that level of yeah, feel attention yeah. when we were going into film, you know, just mm. what Johnny brought to it. You know, you could just feel it, like as I say. I remember, you, I remember you saying yeah. how you almost wanted to punch him so, when he was interrupting. Yeah. Him. So how, as a, as a, suppose when you're making films, you've got to keep the set a happy one, haven't you? So how does that, how does does that work against that idea, or does it? Do you all appreciate what you're trying to do? I think with the, these guys are really, we're really professional about it. You know what I mean? And it, we still manage to sort of have kind of fun. Yeah. You know, but were you shooting it yourself? I shot myself. I mean, I pretty much. I gripped it and stuff and everything because I didn't have. Mm. So when meat, when really. when you're taking on that role as well, you want to be trusting your actors, don't yeah, you? Yeah, of course, and yeah. I could, and that's the that's the good thing about well, doing so much rehearsing. Well, you were good. I mean, she was good because with the character Ryan, I mean, I, I totally I immersed myself in it. I mean, I, I adopted the method acting style which I do anyway. But I said, I putting off how much funeral um, at the beginning of shooting, and I said to she, listen, I think Ryan should adopt like a like a suit. Maybe a goatee beard, white shirt, and look with Stuart like he's the type of director that you can't speak to. It's if he doesn't like the idea, then he won't have it. But luckily enough, he, he embraced it. And went, yeah, I think it's a good idea. It's well, good. I think so. <coughs> an idea, actor. You know. I know an actor called Stephen Walters. So you probably probably know know him yeah. quite well. He's a good friend of mine. Yeah. Said to me once. In fact, it was actually about this. I had a conversation with him, and he talked about. Um, I was talking about, oh, the, you know, when he wants to kind of set, he, he's talking about the costume and he's like, tell you what, if there's an actor that you've got that's talking about the costume, listen to what he's saying. Do you know what I mean? Okay. He's thinking about the role. Okay. Let him let him go with that idea. So that's always stuck with me, that, when he said yeah. that. I kind of I've adopted mm -hmm. that like, style. So now let's watch John's Big Issue. Me. Don't need to be here. Unfortunately, John, the court says differently. What am I meant to say? We all know how difficult it is to share. But when we share, we truly start to be understood and to understand ourselves. I don't know what I'm supposed to tell you. What do you want to tell us, John? Why don't you just move on to someone else? Just skip past me. John, you have to come to this meeting because you broke the law. But your time here needn't be a punishment. You can make it a gift. Are you happy with the way things are? There is help for you here, John. But you have to want it. I don't know where to start. <laughs> when do you think that your anger started to become a real problem in your life? Perhaps you could start there. You're a married man, aren't you? Yes. Hard working, wife, kids. Yes. I don't want to nail you. I want to find out who put you up to it. I'll give you a few days to think about it. Keen and Bell. Tell me I can help. Yeah. Who knows? From time, what's an hour ago? Have you been? You can stay the head of the department. Do you think I've been? Some snaggers are doing a job. Who's 
Gita. Fasme. Who? Fasme. She lives next door but one. She's a beggar. You're texting her for. She's not a beggar, John. She has the big issue. And there's a difference. Well, you should try and John. I wish I could say the same about you. Who are you texting now? Living like what? I give effort I've got to keep you and that lad. I don't have nothing for myself. Oh really? And is that why I keep finding all your little stashes all over the house? You get that to yourself. What are you talking about? In the air and cupboards, in the bathroom, yeah, in here. What's this? Don't look at me like that, John. You put it there. Did you actually think that I wouldn't notice a two litre bottle of vodka hidden behind the carrier bags? Do you actually think I'm that stupid? Do I just have to sort the rest out next week or something. Sort what out? Well, who gets what? You mean who gets Keaton? Seems to have already made his mind up. You did that, John. I really hope you aren't changing him, John. That was it. Gone. Just like that. Ryan! What? That's not how we listen to others. What? He deserves a round of applause, doesn't he? Do doesn't I he? need to get the talking stick out again? Aren't we past all that? Oh, come on, Pete. It's only a little joke. Well done, John. You told your story. Congratulations. Thank you, Ryan. No more interruptions. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, John. Why don't you tell us about how your wife and son leaving made you feel? Why don't you? You're the therapist. I wasn't always a therapist. My story is not all that different from yours. Your wife left you? She did. Well then, you know how I felt. I do. But it's important that you do too. It was agony. Good. Of course, loss is always painful. What else?
Ver. Tom. Ne, ne, job. I need help. Please. Help me. I've spent the last 18 years trying to help you, John. But how can anyone help you if, if you refuse to help yourself? I just want myself out. I swear. It's not that simple. Does Keenan miss me? Fix things. Look, I'm ready to come back. Honest to God, I've sorted myself out. I've packed the ale in, everything. Andy, please, I'm desperate. I thanks a lot. Frick. I don't know if he was being funny or what. Doesn't matter now. I'm not a beggar. Just forget it. I'm done. I know that you're ashamed. But you must accept responsibility. I can't! It's the only way to beat your anger addiction. I said I can't! Are you deaf? John, this is important. What happened? What happened? Or what do you think happened, Pete? He obviously gave that lad a good kicking. And I bet he never stopped until he pulled him off, right? There's absolutely no need for that. Pete, you might as well save your breath with this one. I've seen this type before. He's beyond help. There is always help. You know there is. Yeah, there's help. But this lad doesn't want it. There's there's always... Shut your smart little fucking mouth and I'll show you why I'm here. Do you see what I mean? Ryan. Do you see what I mean? Hey, mate, I'm not being funny. I'm not surprised your fucking wife walked out. Oh, no, 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 no. Listen, sit down, sit down. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen, listen. Show yourself that you can change. Told you that he's doing that. Leave it. Hey, listen to me. Show yourself that you can change, please, John. 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 It doesn't matter. Come back. You can still fix things. Why is it always you? Why don't I ever get what I want? Why me, John? What about Why do you think this was? You hate me. Do you really think so? When are things going to get better? You're so special. John?
combat. Dead man wanting more 